Right, hey guys, what's going on? Um, out and about doing some towing. Come to see Tony. I thought he had a jag here that I wanted. I got a phone call from a mate um, that said, "Oh, there's a heap of cars for sale near you," and he described what was there. And I said, "Oh, I know who that is." So I've come up to say hello to Tony, and I thought you guys might like to have a look as well. A lot of Fords. There's a couple of Holdens. There is the Jag. I, for some reason in my head, I thought there was a Chev in it, but there wasn't. But anyway, we'll go have a look at it anyway. So, all right, let's get started. So, okay, so today's date is about the 12th or something? 13th, yeah. The 13th of January um, 2020. For anyone that's watching this video wondering if the stuff is whoa, still for sale, that is a massive dog. That is massive dog. <laughs> All right, very rusty Falcon 500, but it exists. So it might be, it is repairable if you're pretty keen, but for someone that needs bars and bolts and clips and springs and plastic pieces and chrome trim, trims and all that sort of stuff, it is a, it is a bucket seat car. Okay, so I think he said he wants, was it 800? Yep. yep. He's open to offers. If any of you guys are interested in any of this stuff, just Google King of Toad, get my number, and I can pass on Tony's information. So you still got dash and stuff in it. Like, you know, it's it's rough, but it's there. You know, you get window rags, door latches. For anyone that's done a restoration, g'day guys, how is everyone? Anyone that's done a restoration and you need just that little part, like it's a column shift auto, but to find the little, the bit on top of the steering column, you know, like this. This piece here, in a VR or VS Commodore, trying to find that piece there is near impossible. And it's all sort of there. But anyway, so to me, honestly, this thing's a parts car, just at further looks. But at the same time, if someone needs a parts car. Okay, so all these cars are near Nanango, near me. Okay, so they're near Yarraman, Yarraman and Nanango, so about two and a half hours west of Brisbane. Um, if you need them moved, obviously I run a towing company, I can help you guys out there. But if you are interested in any of the stuff we look at, just contact me at King of Toe and I can pass on Tony's details to you guys, okay? Now, he's got a couple of utes here. They are sold. The ute actually sold yesterday. There's this ute here and another one there. We'll have a look at it anyway, but the ute is not for sale. Sorry, guys. But, um, you know, it's actually not too bad of a rig. It's, yeah. It's like this one was an XC as well. No, B. It's not too bad. Like, I magnet in the back. Tony loves collecting this stuff. Um, I'm just near, um, Patrick, I'm just near Yarraman in Nanango. Yep, we'll get to the panel van in a second. The panel van is for sale. Okay, how much is this one, Tony? Uh, not for sale at the moment. Okay, so this XA is not for sale right now. He's, he, oh, that's right. Um, it's got a V8 in it. He wants to check to see whether this is a 351. If it ends up being a 302, the car will probably end up for sale. But there's no harm if you are very interested in it. In talking to Tony, well, I can come and help him work out whether it's a 351 if you are extremely keen for a um, an XA. Um, Tony's been collecting this stuff for years. There's no real interior in it. There's a bit of dash, rear seats there. There's some bits and bobs in there. She is very rusty though. Yeah, once again, I think that one is just a parts car as well. But this panel van is actually quite good being windowless. So the panel van was two grand, two grand guys. Okay, so. Back of the doors isn't too bad. The bottom panel's good. You got both bumperettes, guys. Rear quarter's got some rust. Gutters are fairly, they're not as bad as some I've seen, I suppose. But you'd have to, um, you'd have to do them. Still on that side, it's got a bit, but it is cheap for a panel van. Like, oh, yeah, this gutter's actually pretty good. Um, it's got Commodore seats in it, but the back hasn't even been cut or anything. But yeah. Um, g'day Scotty T, how are you buddy? Um, we're, I'm just outside of Nanango near um, Yarraman at a mate's place, Tony, and he's just trying to sell a lot of projects he's never going to get to. He's finished what he wants to do and used his parts and yeah, just trying to put them in the hands of someone that's in love with one. But you don't see many XP panel vans and you definitely don't find windowless ones. He wants a couple of grand. He's open to offers if you get in touch with me guys. This is the other ute that sold. They sold as a pair to a bloke, but yeah, they're um, they're gone. This this one here is probably the pick of the bunch. It's not actually too bad. This is quite a good ute, don't you? Yeah. It's, oh, this is. I remember this one. This one came from yeah. Roma, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I you picked this one up home. for Tony years ago yeah. out in Roma. Right. There you go. Yeah. 
Um, okay, this wagon has a bit of a history, guys. It's actually got army tags on it. There was only 300 of them done. Um, he will sell it. It's a floor shifter one, and it's got a six cylinder in it. Sorry, guys, I didn't turn my ringer off. You'd think I'd know by now, wouldn't you? All right. Um, there's, it, we're at his farm at the moment. There's, there's nothing really finished out here. This is all, this red dirt gets into everything. You can't keep anything nice. Even the dogs, you'll see the dogs there. They're supposed to be white and they're half red. But yeah. Yeah, so, um, wagon with army plates. So anyone that's into army or stuff, I suppose, this could be a, something to add to your collection. All right, there's a few more up the back here we'll go have a look at, guys. Um, G'day, guys. Hello. Um, we'll go have a look at these ones up the back here. A lot of this stuff up the back's not for sale. There are a couple of Holdens up in the back corner, but we'll have a look anyway because if you guys are anything like me, you want to look at everything. All right, so it's hard to read comments. Um, Red Dog. Is that you, actually, Red Dog, Red Dog? Um, how are everybody doing? Live feed tonight. Um, what day is it? Wednesday. I'm actually on my way to Brisbane. I won't be home till real late, but we'll see how we go. It's, this isn't for sale, but it's a pretty cool F350. Some mad stacks going on. Yeah, she's a big girl. The uh, panel van was not for sale. It is if we get the right price. Okay. Well, this one is for sale, guys. It is very rusty, though. But, um, you know, I don't know where you find so many panel vans. I never seem to find panel vans. <laughs> this ute's not a bad thing, but it's one that's... um. He's, he's done a bit too, started with, and it's not for sale at this point. But there, he knows what's going on, see? The barrow just goes in the boot, and that's where it's good. Mad fair lane, guys. Um, Leaf came back from the coast on the weekend with the fair lane, so all the engine base primed and that. Um, we'll give you an update on that in the next day or so. The skyline, we've got a bit done on it. I've been chasing some wheels today, actually. We actually I'll show you some wheels in a minute that I might end up to build something around, but... Um, Yes, yeah, so the Fairlane's coming along well, guys. It's, um, yeah. Um, oh, ZC 302 Cleveland. So she's a V8 one, uh, 302. Um, it's got buckets and that. It doesn't look to be that bad, guys, this yeah, thing. this one's a beauty. Yeah. It's got most of the gear on it. It's got the trims and everything. Yep. Sweet. I love the chrome. Mine doesn't have... My rear window is different to that. Or maybe it's the same and I just don't have the chrome. Yep. But, um... It's yeah. pretty complete, this one. Yep. And you've got another one. ZC. That one there. Um, that's a... D. Yep. 351 Windsor is the tag on it. Yep, I've got some extractors for a Windsor for one of these. I just need the Windsor now. Yeah, because I, I, my, my fair lane was a Windsor, so I've got all that stuff there. All right, so, XP sedan. Okay, this, this one's for actually, sale. Yeah, yep. genuine V8. Okay, this one was a v, V8, so it must be a K code, it. I think it is, and it has yep. tags. So, XB covered in moss. Yep. It's not that rusty for one of these. No, and for um, most of the interior. The interior is reasonable. Door handle even works. It's got bucket seats, guys, dashes all together. You wanted a couple of grand for this one, is that right? Yep. Yep. There is no motor in it, but it was a V8 car. So if anyone's interested, just Google King of Tow, grab my number, give me a call, send me a message. I can pass on some details. My uncle is looking for a 302. Well, there might be one down the front there if it's not a 351. Um, mm. Had to pull over to watch this near Sydney Harbour. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I appreciate the support, buddy. Show um, them those wheels. Yep, we will. We'll get to that. Look, right. um, so, this bad boy is never going oh, anywhere. Hello. Yeah, that's got so, um, height suspension so at the front. Is it for airbags, is it? Uh, we're probably going to go airbags now, yeah. Yeah, awesome. It's got a uh, falling mass end. Oh, it has? Oh, sweet. All right, and so it's going to get a Coyote engine. Nice. I talk to me when you're finished. Yep. Um, yeah, you can see on the back there where that four-link arm goes in, guys. Where he's got it to the chassis rail. You know, in the Valiant we were doing it. It has to actually come across to that rail, which is good. So that's good to see. But yeah, she looks like she's coming along well. This thing. There's a lot of steel work being done already. Even though it's a part, I can see just how much work's gone into it already. It's crazy. I know a guy that wants those wheels if you've got a set too. He asked me about them for his Bedford van. This HR here, I don't know, you guys haven't seen Tony yet, but um, my um, Bedford van that I got done, Tony done all the gutters and the rust and all that sort of stuff. Tony went through this sedan recently as well um, and put all new floors in it, done all the rust. This is the one, isn't it? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you've done all the rust in it. So this HR, even though it's sitting here like this, it yeah, it's fairly rust free now. I just saw a comment then. Um, hey Red, do you, Captain, know any info in VL heads and pros and cons on getting cracked heads repaired or even a head I've bought is every head I've cracked um, 30 I've looked for 31 heads also. Okay, um, who's that? Jesse. Okay, Jesse, VL heads at around about 180,000 Ks back in the day cracked along the cam tunnel. Okay, your best bet would be to um, talk to Leaf about what to do or if he had anything. Um, so if you message me or message Leith, I can pass on his details and, and try and help you out there. Leith will be able to advise you. He'll know exactly what to do. Righto. This is the Jag I come to have a look at. It's a Series 1, like my blown Jag, but a long wheelbase one because the rear doors are slightly longer. For some reason in my head, I thought it was a Chevy, but it's not. It's got the standard um, standard six-cylinder in it. But, um, yeah, I was talking to some young blokes yesterday, one of them that ended up with my Series 3 Vanderpla, um XJ6. So maybe this might be something for those boys. They might be keen to um, come and talk to Tony and... Get this thing back on the road if Tony does want to sell her on. But anyway, all right, yeah, so XJ6 Jag Series 1. You can see it's a Series 1. The Series 1s have a lot nicer front end. They have better bumper bars. I reckon they do anyway. The dashes are nicer. Another Falcon. He loves his Falcons. And some wagons. You'll probably be able to... Don't you love these dashes? Like, See there how the glove box drops down? You probably saw in my blown one that drops down all the time when you accelerate. Just a beautiful car. They all smell the same inside too. Yeah, <laughs> all right, so tell me about these wagons, mate. All right, so I didn't know you had these. HDs, HDs okay, yeah, very hard to find. HDs, yeah, yeah. So this one here is actually in pretty good condition. It is the, actually. The, the, the um, floors are good and everything, yeah. The other one is... Um, Maybe I'm taking this home. Snake's house. So, <laughs> so they come as a pair. Yeah. What sort of money do you want for the wagons, buddy? It's, it's an awful one for them. Okay. They do have most of the um, chrome and stuff, and yeah. Shit on them, so yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I might end up. Open to offers for those two. I might end up taking these home myself. Yeah. They're actually good in the dog legs down here, guys. Yeah. yeah. This is a real dry weather car. This one. Gutters are good. Yeah. This leads really well to a rat rod build, guys. Um, rear door hinges are always an issue. That rear quarter there would probably be the worst bit, but. If someone does buy this from Tony, if I don't end up with it, I might be able to give you a bottom quarter cut to help you out. So, yeah. No worries, Jesse. We should be able to help you out or at least point you in the right direction and, and talk through it, mate, to try and get you back on the road. But, yes, VL heads are always a issue. Um, yeah. To repair them, you've got to... We don't have the line boring machine to do cam tunnels, but that doesn't mean we can't help you. So this is the other HD wagon that he's got. Okay, that'll go with the other one. So you should end up with the quarter cut. Yeah, this one's got a good lower quarter, which will go on to the bottom of that one there to make, yeah, you'll make two good, one good car out of the two guys. It's still got the chrome bits on the dash. They look heaps better than in the HRs with, yeah. That's pretty cool. I like my HR yeah. wagons. Oh, and then we've got, Put all the doors and everything in it too. Yep, sweet. And then, a few years ago, I picked up this thing for Tony. It is a, um, it's a kit car that was built, from what we can work out, it must have been late 70s, early 80s. Um, I'm actually going to try and buy this for the wheels, I think. It's got these um, JDM sort of star wheels on it. They're a 17. And the back one has a um, massive, massive dish. And I've got a build in mind. We were going to go to the Rocky Nats soon. Um, but going through the other day, the um, accommodation, I can't get accommodation for the Saturday night. So you go up for the, say, Thursday, Friday, and then nowhere to stay on Saturday. And then um, Sunday. So I don't know what we're going to do. So I suppose, I don't know if that's going to really pull that event up a bit. Because where are you going to stay? You go for a four-day event and you can only stay for three there's no and there's no camping at the event and you've got to leave your car at the event and leave at night it doesn't work in my head but anyway mm -hmm. they didn't think that through too well and then i went to ring the the number that's there for rocky nats and it goes through to dog control at um rockhampton and the council and then there was no one there to be able to talk to me about media passes and 
So maybe we're aiming for the summer nats, guys, which gives us a bit more time to get some cars done. But yeah, well, there's another another ute shell here. No, yeah, there's two more. There's so two more? Oh. Come over here. All right. So, and they go together. Okay. So, yep. You got this one here? Yep. Right, and uh, the roost is taken off. Yep, yep. All right, which is stupid. All right, it's got the proper XR doors. Yep. I see both XR ute, yep. Yep. Yep, okay. And then that one there has a perfect All right. roof. We'll just show the other side of this for the guys. Just in case. Okay, so there's two utes to go together, guys. Um, both XR utes. This one looks pretty good in the quarters and stuff, guys. It's not actually too bad. Look at those wheels. I reckon they're going to go on my burnout ute. What do you reckon? We'll see how we go. Can't help myself. I'm bloody broke at the moment, and I'm here buying wheels I don't need. Lethal. All right, and this one here goes with it, does it, mate? Yeah, buddy. Okay. Do you guys like this sort of stuff? Um, uh, we can have a look at the northern gnats. I'll see how we go. Um, shout out to Gavin from Mackay. G'day, Gavin. How are you, buddy? Um, had to pull over. I'm looking for a 302. Need some VTV6 videos. Um, how's the fair, the fair lanes um, coming along well, guys? All right, so this ute goes with the other ute. And I can see why. This one has a roof, but no floor. And that one has a floor. So if someone wants to learn how to weld, this is your ute. So, yeah. Well, there you go, guys. Um, 800, the pair. 800 bucks for the two utes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good, even as a parts thing, mate, mm -hmm. for rust cuts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's um, pretty reasonable. Yeah. Yep. Very, very hard to find a lot of this Ford stuff, as you guys know. Um, yeah. All right, guys. If you're interested in any of this stuff, what did we say? It was the 16th of January 2020. Um, Google King of Toe. You'll get me, and I can pass on Tony's details. Um, if I give you his details now and then people see the video in three years, he's going to get harassed. So it's easier. I've, yeah, I've been phone calls all day, every day. I think I've had four since we've been doing this. Um, cool. So um, I don't know, guys. There's a lot here. So if you've got any questions, give me a call. We can just work with Tony and um, see if we can't move someone to some new homes. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your comments and your support. Um, we will be... I might do another live between now and the weekend, but we'll definitely be on um, Saturday morning, play Skylines and Fairlanes again. Um, I think we're going to pull the big block down on Saturday morning and work out what we need, work out to order our cam. Um, I think it's going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to order parts out of the States because it's a bit cheaper. We're actually going to do pistons and stuff in it now. Lethal balance it, and we'll have a bit of an animal there. I reckon it's going to be a mad rig. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Thanks for all your comments. Um, I'll see you soon. See you.